Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you for a second about something that I write about and I talk about a lot, but I wanted to bring some clarity to it, and that is the patriarchy. <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm laughing. It's not a funny concept at all. I think I laugh because I stick that word in a lot of my work, and um, it's on a lot of people's mind these days, let's be honest. Um, but I want to come and, and demystify a few things for you. Um, the patriarchy has got nothing to do with men. Um, I know that a lot of people hear that and they think in terms of a society that is ruled in favor of men, um, which certainly has been the world and the, the patriarchal structure. But the patriarchy is a system, okay? And it is a system that harms men and women alike. It is a system that favors the masculine principle over the feminine and has, in, in the case of what we've experienced in the last 200 years, given people in male bodies more access than it has people not in male bodies. Um, but the oppression is not just about men versus women. Um, and why I'm so very interested in it, amongst other things, um, I have my personal interest in it, but professionally why I'm so interested in it is because the imbalance between the masculine and the feminine, or the being and the doing, the yang and the yin, call it what you will, the flow, the ebb, whatever, is causing not only us individually, but our world at large so much suffering. And so we, um, as, as a group, as, as a whole, need to look at how this patriarchal system has affected us, has affected our access to our own either masculine or feminine principles or energies, um, and how our imbalance is playing out in our own life, because it is, I can promise you that, in some way, shape, or form. Um, and so I recently did a blog about how I believe that this patriarchal, which is hierarchical. So keep in mind, it's about, you know, a linear system where we have a best, better, worse, the worstest kind of line, um, and how it harms humans and human development and full human expression. Um, what we have seen in our world is that our world has chosen to give those people who are born in male bodies access to the masculine principles and those people born into female bodies access permission to embrace the female principles. So again, the masculine is the doing, the female is the being, um, and the masculine is the active, the female is the passive. And so through this bifabrication of two complementary energies that were always meant to work together, you know, babies are born into this world with equal parts, female and, um, feminine and masculine energies. And we did not come into this world split. The society splits us, the, the, the system splits us and tells those in male bodies, you can be all of these masculine things, but you better not, you better not access your feminine or you'll be a pussy, which is loaded. And I wrote about that in my book, um, not my book, my blog post. Um, but it shames using a word to describe the female genitalia, no doubt, it shames men into accessing part of themselves that they need in order to be whole. Um, now, the setup for women is loaded because you can have access to the feminine, but you better not have access to your masculine. If you do, then I don't know, there's choice words, you're a bitch, God only knows what else, you know, um, that's not the point of this. But here's the thing, you can have access to your feminine, but make no doubt about it, the feminine is the less of the two. So you can access that, can access the masculine, but the feminine is, I mean, you know, it's not so good. So it's this real setup because we're taught, and that's what society is, it's our big teacher, um, that we can only have half of our whole, and for those born into female bodies, we can only have the weaker half. And by the way, it's in no way, shape, or form weaker, but that's what we're taught. So um, we're all kinds of gobbledygooked about it. Like, I mean, talk about the pain that has been done, not only to us as individuals, but to our world at large because of this nonsense. And so I am trying to figure out a way to bring a, 
the concept into the, the sort of conversation and bring it to more and more people so they can begin to examine the way it plays out in their life personally and also in their systems, their families, their, their groups that they, they find themselves associating with and then of course see how it's playing out in the world because it is playing out in the world. Um, and you know, the language around it, masculine and feminine, yin yang, it can be kind of heady and it can confuse people. I confuse the you know what out of me for a very long time and still does um, at times. And so, you know, I've kind of been calling it the being and the doing energy because I think that a lot of us in this society, we get that. Like we're so about doing and like we just want to be, um, which speaks to how we're all yearning to be able to embrace that feminine and not feel bad about it and just like recognize the power that's in it and, and how much we miss it. Um, so that's what this video is about. And that's what my blogs have been about as of late. And in 2021, I'm starting a podcast called Inner Alchemy, which is the magic that happens when you bring two complementary forces together um, or two opposing forces. But um, I'm going to be talking about all the ways that we as humans can heal because it's my belief that we all have a lot of healing to do, myself included. So just trying to do my little part and have fun while I'm at it. So these are going to be fun conversations. Um, anyway, so if you have any issue, uh, questions rather about the masculine and the feminine, there are two blog posts um, that I have recently done about it and some that I've done in the past, but you can most certainly also reach out or put, um, you, you can hit me up on social media. So I will be back soon. See ya.